Key points for the management of sepsis and septic shock. 1. Fluids. Administer a minimum of 30 cc per kilogram crystalloids in the first three hours. Be cautious of fluid overload in patients with end-stage renal disease and congestive heart failure. Consider albumin supplementation, but avoid starch solutions. 2. Vasopressors. Initiate norepinephrine as the primary agent. Consider adding epinephrine or vasopressin if needed. 3. Steroids. Avoid steroids unless there is refractory shock, unresponsive to fluids, and vasopressors. 4. Antibiotics. Administer broad-spectrum antibiotics such as vancomycin plus tazobactam. 5. Packed RBCs. Transfuse packed RBCs if hemoglobin levels are below 7 gram per deciliter. Target at higher hemoglobin levels in cases of acute bleeding or myocardial ischemia. 6. Source control. Implement source control such as abscess drainage or fasciitis debridement as soon as possible, ideally within 12 hours. 7. Ventilator support. Utilize low tidal volume ventilation, 6 cc per kilogram. Keep plateau pressures below 30 centimeters H2O. The effectiveness of BiPAP remains uncertain. 8. Goal of therapy. The goal of therapy is to aim for a mean arterial pressure of 65 mmHg and lactate normalization. Protocolized sepsis care is not helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.